So Microsoft Teams has a new public preview and they're introducing a two times faster experience and a new design. Today, we're going to overview what's in the new Teams experience and what it actually offers for those who are using it on a daily basis. Microsoft have introduced yet another update. It's pretty crazy these last couple of weeks. Microsoft have been on a bit of a rampage with Copilot introducing the loop experience. If you've not checked that out, you can find that link in the description and also many more Microsoft add-ons in the particular the area of AI. Now, Microsoft Teams has been grown pretty rapidly since the pandemic. As I mentioned in the loop video, they pretty much sailed past Slack after that experience, mainly due to the distribution experience. And Microsoft Teams is getting a public preview that is an approved experience. Now it's currently going to be only available for Windows. And looking at the article and the availability section, it says that it's currently only available to the commercial users of Windows, but they're working on extending the preview to new teams to broader set of customers, including education, government clouds, and platforms such as Mac, VDI, and web later this calendar year. So that's definitely good news for the experience. They also mentioned there's no direct impact to the team's mobile app experience on iOS and Android. Naturally, because the new Teams is largely an architectural update focused on desktop, web, and VDI. So what is new about this new Teams? Well, it's been redesigned and it's also a lot faster. Let's break down what's actually new with Teams. So the first thing that's gone is the nav bar. You'll see a nice clean bar. And at the moment, you'll see a sort of preview logo of Microsoft Teams in the top left hand corner. But that nav bar definitely makes it look easier on the eyes. And you can already see that they've taken the weight out the text area. This is something that I always found pretty daunting when opening up a message or starting something in Teams. It feels really bulky, but now this new Teams experience makes it much more improved in that element. So Microsoft are also stating this is two times faster and offers two times faster meetings and 50% less memory used on your computer, which is pretty vast for those who are using it on a daily basis. And this is actually apparently because Microsoft Teams have made a significant investment in the re-architecture of its desktop client. And this new architecture includes moving to WebView 2. Now, to be honest, as somebody who's not a developer, I don't actually know what this is, but apparently it offers a few improved experiences, including re-architected video and rendering pipelines for large-scale meetings, multi-account or multi-tenant meetings, streamlined app installation, hardened security, optimized memory, and also moving from polling to push notifications. It also offers expanded performance, infrastructure, and tooling, and embraces open source as well as simplify the accessibility process. So you can see that they're investing a lot in not just what they're offering in Teams, but how much faster. And that's probably likely the reason they're offering this as a public preview for Windows only initially. So you may have noticed in the trailer that they also focused a lot on Microsoft Loop. And that two times faster usage will come in handy with the real-time syncing of Microsoft Loop components. But what I noticed that was different and I'm pretty sure it's not available in the current Microsoft Teams, is the fact that now in this Microsoft Teams, you can open up loops, loops and actually have them as interactable components that take up a full screen. This is something that looks nice, and I wasn't sure that was fully available in this current version. But you can also view your chat alongside. Now, obviously, Microsoft Teams have made some good investments in Copilot, which is their new AI experience that combines abilities across the Microsoft 365 apps and the graph. And they're introducing this inside of Copilot, inside of Calls, which allows you to summarize your meeting notes, offer topics and chapter selection for those who missed the meeting. It's pretty advanced um, and it's really helpful because it takes advantage of their relationship with OpenAI. And finally, one of the more available features is new emoji celebrations for when you and your team send messages and you wanna go OTT on celebrating something with your team remotely. So alongside this new Microsoft Teams update, it's strange because they've introduced avatars and improved avatars. They actually had avatars beforehand, but this is rolling out to public preview today, apparently making hybrid meetings less exhausting because you can switch on these avatars and get going, which I find very strange to be able to just pop an avatar on 
it feels very strange to have avatar and people meetings at the same time. But the avatars have been improved because the improved performance and lighting for the avatars is definitely a noticeable difference between how the lighting affects avatars when they're being on screen. And you can also have additional customization options with wardrobe, headwear, and accessories too, to really make it look and feel like you as much as humanly possible. And there's also new animated emojis that were offered in Teams and they translate into the emo uh, avatar versions on your Microsoft Teams meetings. This is such a spooky thing that people would switch this on, but Microsoft Teams thinks that this is something that people want and obviously offer to get things going. So one final thing, as I mentioned, this availability right now is very restricted. However, they have an outline of how to actually get it this and start trying this today. Um, apparently, you can follow the guidance on their blog, but if you are in the targeted release program, you'll have access to the preview of new Microsoft Teams starting mid-2023. And if you're, um, if you're in production, your admins will have the option to opt in by using Teams Update Management Policy to select which users in your organization can see the toggle and get access to it. So that's really helpful with knowing what you get. Um, and it's definitely a much needed upgrade to the experience um, that makes it look a lot cleaner and a lot softer on the eyes, especially when you're doing day-to-day -day work. What do you think of the brand new Microsoft Teams? Do you think it's something that you will be using or taking advantage of? Um, obviously, they mentioned, I think, a lot of people were using Microsoft Teams. I think that's something like 280 million, which is crazy amounts of people. Um, and of course, um, it's something that, you know, they, they're going to expand on. So Microsoft Teams definitely becoming much more refined. Uh, one final thing is they actually had uh, a video that showcase the launch times. It's well worth a watch, um, but maybe I can talk about that near the end. They show the application launch times and how much faster the new Teams was. That'll put in the blog. But they also found from a third party conducting of tests that the installation of the app was three times faster. The launch of the app was two and a half, two times faster. Joining meetings two times faster. Switching chats and channels was up to 1.7 times faster and it consumed 50% less memory and 70% less disk space, which is good news. So I just wanted to finish on that because I actually just found the outline there and I thought those sort of stats would be quite interesting to share with you. So hopefully Microsoft Teams will speed you up in the future and uh, it's exciting to see what Microsoft are doing in general across all of their platforms and releasing updates as soon as possible much faster than google thank you very much folks i hopefully um this gave you a good overview of microsoft teams if you're new here please do subscribe we have plenty of videos my name is francesco alessio and i'll see you very soon in another keep productive video cheerio